this with all of you guys. Okay? So, it's good to see you guys. I haven't got to speak with you too much this morning, so I apologize. It's okay. In that. Speak into your microphone. There you go. Okay, there we go. All right. Hey, so to kind of begin with, I'm just going to kind of ask you, you guys just a couple questions. Um, I just want these guys to be able to hear your hearts, your guys' hearts in this. Okay? So the first question is, why did you want to do a baby dedication for Elizabeth? We wanted to do uh, a baby dedication just because we know that uh, Elizabeth is the Lord's and is a, is a miracle from the Lord to us. And so um, we just kind of wanted to do it to say, you know, we will do everything that, that we can uh, to raise her in, in the type of Christian home that the Lord's called us to. So, yeah. Good. Do you have anything you want to add? No? Speaking okay. of the microphone, nothing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is if you could if you could hope one thing, if you could hope just one thing for Elizabeth, what would your one hope be? Um, kind of along those lines that, you know, one day she's 15, 16, sitting in here lo loving the Lord, just uh, <coughs> a part of a group like this. Um, I think that would be her biggest prayer. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to kind of charge you uh, with one thing, okay? Um, and it kind of has three different pieces to it. So I'm going to read it off of here just so I make sure that I get the words right, okay? And at the end, um, if you agree to really do these things, I want you to signify by saying we will, okay? So, Chris and Julie, you are God's partners. You are God's partners in the physical, emotional, and spiritual nurture of Elizabeth. Therefore... Will you surrender yourselves and partner with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the nurture of Elizabeth? Will you prayerfully seek to grow her up in character, love, and wisdom of Jesus Christ? Will you faithfully teach her to rely only upon God's grace and to walk that Christ life? If so, will you signify by saying we will? We will. Okay. Now, you guys, you guys have a part to play in this. We've talked a lot about how we are the body of Christ. We've talked a lot about how we are the body of Christ. You're the Canel family semi-thing over here, okay? All of my students are loving this. You guys are here this morning. You guys have a part to play in the midst of this. You have a part to play in their physical, spiritual nurturing of Elizabeth. And so if you will come alongside them... We'll come alongside them in prayer, in support, and maybe some babysitting. Okay? Will you come alongside them and help them in the spiritual nurture of Elizabeth? If so, I want you guys to say out loud, we will. Okay, praise God. Praise God. Okay, now here comes the scary part. I'm not very good at holding babies, and this is not a sign of things to come for all of you students in here. Okay? <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to pray for them. Does that sound good? Okay. Can you be good? <laughs> so, Father, I, I thank you. I thank you for this blessing. Well, I thank you for this miracle. I thank you for this Chris and Julie. I thank you for Elizabeth, Kate, Cannell. God, I pray blessing. God, I pray honor. And I pray that you would grow her to be a faithful <coughs> woman of God. Father, I pray that she would come to know you at an early age. That she would come to walk in your truths. That she would come to walk in your love. That she would come to understand your grace, your faithfulness. How her only hope, her only hope in this life is in you and you alone, oh God. So Father, I pray that you would speak. Father, I pray that you would give wisdom to Chris and Julie. To be able to raise this child well, even as she's smiling. I just thank you for it. your continued faithfulness to this family. And it's only in Christ and in Christ alone that we have any hope. She has any hope. It's in you we pray. Amen.